Contact is a vocational school that we teach men and women and VA eligible students training in the automotive machining industry. Samtech is the uh, brainchild of my parents, Judd and Linda Massingill. In the 70s, my dad was a machinist building engines for um, circle track and offshore power boats, things like that. I owned a shop for a number of years and we just couldn't get good help. And Linda and I were talking one day, uh, we were actually downtown at a restaurant, and I was griping about you can't get any good help and whatever, whatever, you know. And Linda says, To be honest with you, all you are is a teacher, because we've had numerous employees leave and open up their own business. We're quite successful. I said, why don't we just start a school? When it rains, it pours. Water's up to my chin. Once I fight it to the very end. I was born in 1984 and the school opened in 1985. It was about a five-year process to get everything with the Department of Ed and accreditations and all of that to make sure that you're not some fly-by-night thing. But um, we have been doing business since 1985. Um, we started with block machining and cylinder head machining. And uh, eventually we would go on to add in about 2004 the CNC program, in 2015 the EFI program. And we added the associate degree um, between the two of those in about 2010. Samtech has probably one of the biggest influences of my career. I came here in 1998. I always wanted to be a professional engine builder. Right out of high school, I got a job at a, at a local machine shop and, uh, and when I was 17 years old. And so when I got out, um, I worked my way up through the ranks and by 19, I was the shop foreman. And uh, we did everything from two and a half horse Tecumsehs to Detroit's and everything in between. And so I built engines, but I, I really loved racing. I always wanted to go to a place for race engines because my, my, my goal in life was to work in NHRA pro stock. So what, I've, what I did is I, <clears throat> I was looking for a place to do this. Back, way back then, there was these tiny little ads in, in, in Hot Rod Magazine. It says, become a professional engine builder. And so I called the number, came down, you know, took a tour, and uh, the rest is history. I, I became an instructor here. I became the general manager, uh, chief machining instructor, and I was here from 1998 through 2006. I did the math a couple of years ago, and I would say that there's been about 3,000 students all told through all of our programs and everything that we do here. Uh, on a typical year, it's about 200, uh, give or take, you know, a dozen or so. But um, our job placement rate is in the 90 percentile, and because of that, it's doing what you want to do. Um, we have some people that go on and work for SpaceX, Blue Origin, new companies that are emerging and they have CNC jobs there, our graduates do. Others go to work for NASCAR teams, uh, IndyCar teams, NHRA teams. It just depends on what you want to do, but they all find success after graduating. Oh, there's so many opportunities. We do not have enough students to fill the need of the industry. People just love speed. They love to go fast. They love to be competitive. That's about all you can say about it. I mean, it's, it's going to be around forever. What I say is that if you can't make money in this industry, something's wrong, okay? There are so many opportunities in so many different ways. You know, with the, the reports that SEMA puts out, you can show how much money actually is in this. It is billions and billions of dollars. There are jobs. We are very fortunate uh, that we have about 500 job openings that our students have access to. Um, across every discipline of motorsports, of every discipline of machining. With, with that being said, there, there's a lot of money to be made in, as a machinist, which is what we focus on. We're hands-on, even, even when we're here, we're hands-on. I mean, you're on a machine. I do the theory, you know, lecturing upstairs, and, and we have to get through that. And But having the hands-on, experience to come in and do something like this and, and put your hands on a machine and have a professional teach you in a professional environment that that's 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 almost irreplaceable well you find me hope you find me but i've been a mechanic my whole life um but now that i'm here at santec i'm 
uh, ready to transition into engine building. Um, so it just, it's just what comes natural to me. You know, I really feel like I'm at home and every day I come to school, it's, I just have fun. Like this is entertainment for me, you know? So I, I love what I do. I love being here. Hope you find me. Let me tell you, you know, in my, my shop uh, for years, we, we, I was fortunate enough to get some, build some NASCAR engines. We could not win a NASCAR race, but we could finish and qual qualify and finish. You know what I'm saying? That was a big deal for us. But uh, we did some offshore powerboat racing. All we just had a lot of fun, and, and I really enjoyed it. And my engines were my egos, but now uh, my graduates are my egos. You know, and we've been fortunate enough, or worked hard enough, I should say, that you know, just almost every professional team, and we have no one in Formula One. But short of that, you know, we have them all over, literally the country. We we have them from far away as Australia. Uh, Thailand, the Philippines, you know, um, it, it, we enjoy it. I go to Disney, that'll, that'll sum it up. I go to Disneyland every morning I get up.